What's up people of the internet? I'm the big bold here with yet another painful video! In this video we'll be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mount architecture and part of the Bayesian family of power efficient processors. It has 2 cores and 2 threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 700 in to MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000's architecture while using the latest driver suite available. You also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system in also which the game is installed. As for operating system we are using Windows Xlite Optimum 10 Pro version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we will try to make work on my low end PC today is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. One bastard has been wanting me to tame this Japanese monster like a godzillion times. I mean look at how many comments in French he wrote. Before getting straight to the most painful part, here are a few things to note. First, I'm using Remoise Gaming's low end config, I will provide the link to his website where you can download it in the pinned comment. Now I can't show how to use the config because according to Remoise himself, the reason why his previous channels got taken down was because he was showing how to use the low end configs, insane I know. Credits to him by the way. However. One thing that I will show is that I will enable the shadows, because people claim that disabling them causes the game to crash after you die. Second, on top of that, I'm using Potato Spec Gamer's low end mod, which graphifies the textures. I will provide the download link for it for convenience. To use it, first, go to the Unpack and Patch 2 folder, then open the uxm.exe file. Now, click on Browse and make sure to go to your game directory, then choose the secure.exe file. After that, click on unpack. Keep in mind that the process will take a while, so be patient, ok? After that, in the mod, go to the other potato preset folder and extract the two folders, which you will find there, to your game directory and replace the files. Then go back to the Unpack and Patch 2 folder, open the uxm.exe file, click on Browse, return to your game directory and choose the secure.exe file once again, but this time we are gonna click on Patch. When this warning message appears, don't worry, just click on Yes and just wait for the patching process to complete. Third, we gonna be running the memory tucked up before watching the game and I've set it to clean the RAM once usage reaches 90%. Oh, and final thing, it takes an insanely long time just to get to the main menu. I actually want to make a separate time lapse video to show what I mean. And let's get straight to the torture and suffering.